to you. Hey, uh, hey, good evening, everybody. Please put your hands together and welcome all the way from San Diego, California, 98 pounder recording artist, Mr. Steve Pulse. I can only believe again if you take me away to Lake Wish again and I end up on a trip again. I hope I don't get sick again And I'd love to take that trip But I never really believe I can Cause of all the troubles in the world That make me lose my tan I was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada In the infirmary uh, By the Sisters of Charity I'm a traveling troubadour A singer-songwriter And I travel the world And I sing songs And I uh, Hopefully make people smile. Steve, Steve, Steve. I got into music when I was six years old. My uncle, Uncle Louie, he was from Cape Breton, and then moved to Southern California. He took me to the Hollywood Bowl to see a classical guitarist by the name of Julian Breen. Amazing guy from England. And I watched him play and I was just fascinated. Even though I was only six, I really, for some reason, got it and the music spoke to me. This is great, man. I want to buy a guitar. I wonder if the CBC would buy me one because I'm doing this. I think so. And because they feel sorry for me because I'm a musician. This is only $14,500 for a Telecaster. A steal. Play the guitar only, I just need to adjust it in this. The guitar slowly became my best friend. I would play and an hour would go by so fast and it made me feel so peaceful inside when I would play. And it made me feel balanced and happy. Building from the riots. He had a rocking little girlfriend named Marla. She was a cocktail waitress at the pit. So I remember when I finally found my own voice and I started a band called The Rug Burns. We toured hard. We would start our shows in Tijuana, Mexico and drive all the way to New York City, you know, go up to Toronto. Just, we were driving all around in this van. And then I came off the road and I was back in San Diego. And I went to this coffee house called Java Joe's in Poway, California. That's good. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted, just wanted to hear another verse. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, there was a girl working there and she was serving tea. And uh, she was really pretty, blonde girl. And she said uh, she was from Homer, Alaska. And so she served me some tea. I had a sore throat from singing a lot. And she said, you know, hey, my name's Jewel. And I said, that's it, just Jewel? And she said, yeah, I live in my van out back in the parking lot. She had this Volkswagen van, really cool old powder blue Volkswagen van, split window. She asked me if I wanted to make stained glass art. And we did, we made stained glass art till the sun came up. And then we started writing all these songs together. And we're on. The clock is 6 a.m. I feel so far from where I've been. I got my eggs and my pancakes too. Got the maple syrup, everything but you. So I go back to the hotel room and Jewel's asleep. And I grab the guitar and I start writing this song. So she wakes up, she's like, I like that. Let's write it. So we write that song, and the song ends up becoming a huge hit. I never put a towel. And we didn't think anything was gonna happen because her record was stuck at like 20,000 records sold and that was gonna be it. Next thing you know, the record goes ballistic. Probably because I was in the video. No. My heart's being broken, my people being used, but One of the longest running songs on the Billboard Top 100. And uh, 
I think the record sold like 15 million records. It was happy, oh, I was sad, and it made me miss you. Oh, so bad, cause dreams last for so long, even after you're gone. And I know you love me, and soon you will see. You were me. meant for me. I could make up a song about anything all of a sudden because I realized only I could sound like me and I had my own voice and my own style and the songs could be sad, they could be silly, they could be anything but the key was to not censor myself and just whatever I wrote, I wrote and let them all come out as they will. 